okay, I was putting my cards away. Yeah, it's part two to the part one. Really, part one was one thing. This is, I was putting my cards away from the reading I just did. And there was one card that was flipped over and standing out. Can you see what this is? It's, some, it's death. Death. I went from 1 to 13. Okay. No, I'm not worried about me at all. I guess I shouldn't be worried about anybody else. Still a Pisces, though. <sighs> Let's take this in the lesson, the learning lesson that it's meant to. Okay? Let's see if we can, if, if, if this can be a growing lesson for us all with the death card in the Muse Tarot. Rebirth, regeneration, a metamorphosis, the death of a relationship or idea, endings, letting go, things are no, that, that are no longer needed, making sure you're not holding on to an outgrown dream, to outgrown dreams and old wishes, new opportunities, See, here's the thing with death. Death is the end of a cycle that cannot go any further. Everything dies one way or the other. I know the hair is just sticking straight up right now. I'm noticing that. Like it is like stick it's like the antennas of it's, the antennas are sticking straight up. This is not just me doing I mean the, that 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 one hair is just sticking straight up. It's this. That's why I know some of y'all are not, are not real. Because if you were real, you wouldn't take, the, you wouldn't play with the gift so callously as you do. That right off the bat shows me you're not real, and it shows Saturn too. See, I don't care. You can. Well, only God can judge me. That's exactly what's happening. Duh. God is judging you, and you're failing. Now, some will say, "Well, we never fail. We just learn." No, but if you don't learn, you're failing. There is such a thing as failure. We're all not bright. We're all not smart. We're all not. There is such a thing as failure. There is such a thing as life. And there is such a thing as death. You preach it. Yet you don't believe it. Or don't find your accountability. Or your lack thereof. Accountability and responsibility. In your own death. See I know what I need to do. As far as my, as far as my chronic kidney disease. And high blood pressure. And my body wonderfully lets me know if I get too hard headed so I like that you have signs you always have signs death just doesn't very rarely I'm not saying it, it does it can especially in war times but somewhere even in that if you were in a war situation then you had to you, you had to contemplate that some of you don't contemplate at all that you're playing with death daily and I don't understand that. And people who are that sick, dumb, and crazy, I cannot fuck with y'all. Because I see it, but if I tell you that I'm the problem, you know what? I know a bigger problem. It's you. And that crew you hang around, somebody is waiting to kill you. I'm not going out because I'm afraid of any of you. I'm not going out because I'm afraid of what I would do if I would see some of you. And I don't want to give my crew who's busy doing other things, I want to give them one less person that they have to protect and focus on because they got a lot of things to worry about. See, I'm not the bad support wife. I'm, I'm their support wife. I have a whole tribe. I'm support. Today is a two-day. I'm support. So I know what I have to do. First, do my part to stay alive. 
Because death just doesn't sneak up on you. It can, but there's always a math trail as to why. The ancient, this ancient dust, her lungs reek of it. This sickness and her fragmented selves want to fight their way beyond the self-made tethers. Self-made. You are now making your own chains. You can't blame it on somebody else. Wow. There we go. I don't need, I don't need to read that any further. You are now making your own chains, but you want to blame it on everything else. If there's a chain on you today, what did you do? For a minute, think, pause, breathe. For a minute, what did you do that could have possibly contributed to the chain that's now on you? Because I promise you, it just didn't get up there willy-nilly by itself. Even Willie needs help. Yes, I am clever, mommy. That's it. No other ending needed. Car was death or rebirth. Just take the wisdom and heed it. Happy Saturday. It can be if you do the math. I am. Until next time, the operative word today is peace.